Samantha. And I'm Courtney. And you're watching Two Damsels and One Dungeon Master. In this season of Dungeon Master, we have seven new cast members, so let's go meet them. Alright, so I am with David. He is one of our new cast members. Hello. I'm so excited to have you. Thank you. Uh, so how did you hear about Dungeon Master? Uh, one of the job posting boards online, I was searching and found it. <laughs> okay, so having not done the show yet, mm -hmm. what do you think is going to come out? Um, I think there's going to be a lot of antics and spell throwing and uh, a little slow motion um, debauchery. Debauchery? Not yes. just slow motion combat, slow motion debauchery. Yeah, yeah. Maybe some cleaving and maiming. Hey, hang on. This is still PG-13. Okay, oh, yeah, sorry. So now I'm with Lolly. And she's not just a cast member, but you also have a special skill that you're bringing to the show. What is that? Yes, I am going to be the head of makeup. Uh, so I'm going to be doing all the special effects and creating all the goblins and ghouls and trolls and making big ears and zits and boards. Okay, so everyone's going to look even more amazing than... Right, that's so the goal. Nice. Instead of just having like, I'm a goblin and I have ears, you can actually have makeup. So what's your, what's your background? Um, well, I mostly did beauty makeup uh, professionally for a while, went to school for it, and as a hobby, evolved into special effects, so that's one of the reasons why I moved to L.A. I am here with Jay. He's another one of our new cast members this season. And Jay, um, I don't know you. Why don't you, why don't you tell me how you found our lovely little, um, troop? Uh, I answered an ad. I thought it was a different kind of dungeon show. But it was on Mandy, and then I uh, auditioned. I thought, great, I mean, because it's an improv show that I've wanted to do since I was at Second City, and uh, the theater was really close to my house. And now uh, we've moved to a warehouse that's like 20 miles away. That's cool, though. <laughs> um, no, me too. The only reason I signed up is because we were down the street. Yeah, now I've got to come downtown. There, right now. Yeah, it's like $5 in gas a day. But <laughs> we get a per diem, right? Um, I, I can get you like water every day. I'm always getting uh, water. Uh, you performed at Second City, so you have a background in improv? Oh yeah, I came out of uh, Chicago, uh, the Chicago improv scene. Uh, I was at Second City for uh, a week and a half for a um, very, very uh, well-respected playwright, Jim Sherman, um, told me uh, to stop. And so I did. And that was about five years ago, and now I'm picking it up again. So Why did he tell you to stop? did not like what I had oh, no. He was uh, not, not happy about it. So everybody come see Jay, he is adequately mediocre. High five, high five partners. So we did an exercise today and we were high five partners where we had to run in front of each other. So this is Xander. Hi. I adore him already. He's fantastic. Stop. Yeah. You. you. I, I think I found my best friend. <laughs> so how did you hear about Dungeon Master? Uh, like most other people, I found the online casting. Um, but I think I'd actually seen um, like an advertisement for the show before, like maybe two years ago. And I put it like a button on the back of my mind, like, I have to go see this show, this looks amazing. And then I never did, but now I'm in it, it's so. Like fate now. It's even better. So, uh, do you have any particular kind of characters or creatures that you want to portray? It would be fun to be like crotchety old man! <laughs> or like the, the really evil character. Oh, I love the villains. Mm, yes. Or maybe there's a soft spot for strawberries. So today, I'm here with Sandra. Sandra is one of our newest cast members for this season of Dungeon Master. Sandra, how did you find out about our production? I think it was the uh, was LA casting, or my agents to get me to, and then you guys hit me up, and I came in, and it was a really fun audition. I think that's the first that your agent submitted you for it. Yeah. I know I saw it on Outcasting like three years ago when I joined, and I was like, oh my gosh, nerdy sword fighting. <laughs> I'm doing that. Right? It's like, hey, it's theater, it's improv. Do it. <laughs> I am excited to uh, get to do some improv, you know, and meet like all kinds of funny, you know, good people, you know, and become friends and go up. You don't have a script, you're just on stage seeing what happens and, uh, you know, leading people through this adventure. So yeah, it's going to be fun. It's going to be fun. People tell me I'm going to be queen of the nerds, and that's all right with me. All right, so I'm with Anne, who, like myself, used to be a player. Um, how have you. Shut up! This is such a good interview. 
Uh, so what characters uh, did you do for Dungeon Master previously? Uh, for Dungeon Master, I have two primary ones. There is Senga the Amazon, um, and then there is uh, Temperance. She's a temptation demon from the gluttony department. Oh, I see. Yes. It's it. You look so thin. You look so... Well, she always had chocolate and was always like, here, you want some chocolate? So you have some additional skills that you can also add to the cast. Tell us about that. I'm, I I sew things, you know, a lot of things. I want a fur bikini. Fur bikini. Okay, maybe a skirt. Fur bikini. Fur bikini. So for the viewers of this vlog, I'm sure none of you are familiar with this face. Um, this is somebody we've never met before. I don't actually know her. I've before. never been on the internet um, ever in my entire life. This is uh, Courtney ever. Croft. Croft. Craft. Courtney okay. Craft. No, we have known um, Courtney for a very long time. I've known her since I joined the show three years ago. Um, but of course, this is her first season as an official member of the cast. So. Um, Guess, let me ask you what your feelings are on being a part of the cast now. Well, I think it's going to be a really different experience, because when you're the player, you don't know what to expect, you don't know what's coming up, and the story is very much about you, but as a cast member, you might just have one scene, or you might have a very specific goal, and I'm actually more comfortable when I have time to prepare a character. Well, at least I hope that I'll be able to perform better as a cast member than I, than I ever did as a player. Um, I'm also hoping maybe in the next season or two to get into writing because I love writing and I have so many ideas for shows and characters and I just love being creative and everyone at Dungeon Master is fantastic so I get to have fun with my friends which is the best part and I've made so many wonderful friends through Dungeon Master and if you come to the shows you will also make friends. That looks like a really fun bunch of newbies. They are a fun bunch of newbies. Most of them. Yes they are. Those are all fun. Most of them. They're all fun. Whatever. Anyway, uh, you can meet all of our newbies at our premiere episode on March 3rd, so you better show up.